Hello, today I'm going to show you how to combine the graphs plotted with ggplot and ggproof. Compiling graphs are very important when you prepare a manuscript because it will help you uh, to reduce the number of graphs. It also helps the reader to have the bigger picture of the data. Uh, to start, I'm going to import the data and define the variable that I'm going to use today. Uh, this is the data I'm going to use today. The data show the concentration of four elements, including phosphorus, iron, copper, and zinc in two different uh, types of samples. Uh, that is uh, avocado leaves and barley. Uh, now I'm going to define the variables. After this, we're going to draw uh, four graphs. Uh, to draw the graphs, uh, we need two packages, that is ggplot2 and ggpub. I'm going to run them now. In this case, I use ggpubplot uh, to plot the bar plot, and I use the function to make the code shorter. Uh, now I run this code. And next, that is the first graph of uh, phosphorus. CD phosphorus. And the next one is for iron, then copper. The last one is zinc. Normally with this type of data, I will combine them into a figure when I report them. So how to combine these four figures into one figure? I'm going to show you now. To combine the graphs, we need the package ggpub. Actually, we already loaded this package above, but I still want to run it again. There are two options you want to combine the graphs. The first one, you want to have a figure that has the same columns each row, and the second one that has the different number of columns each row. So we're going to work with the first one first. Uh, to do this, we use GZ arrange. And then we have the name of the figure we have already plotted above, that including fig P, fig iron, fig copper, and fig zinc. And in this case, we have the number of columns is two, and number of rows also two. And we have the common legend, so we select true. And I also use a live vertical. I will show you what is a live vertical later. And the label for each graph is A, B, C, and D. I run this code now. As you can see, four graphs have already uh, combined into one graph or one figure. And in this case, they are alive vertically. And they have the common legends. If you don't want they have the common legends, you just select that false. And we have C. And we have a look now. So when you select a common uh, legend is false, each graph has their own legends. But in this case, all of the graphs have the same legend, so we select it true. Uh, you also can adjust the height of the row or the width of the column. For example, if you want the first row, it's shorter than the second one. You use the code high equals C, and for example here I select 1 and 2. Now I hit run and we see. As you can see now, the first row is much shorter than the second row. You also can change the width of the column. Now I hit run now. Have a look. As you can see, the width of the first column now is just a half of the second column. Uh, sometimes, when you combine graphs, you want the first row has only one figure, and the second row has two figures. So how we can do that? For example, in this case, we just want to plot only three figures in one. It phosphorus, iron, and copper. And we want the phosphorus in the first row, and the iron and copper in the second row. How we can plot this? 
we still need to use gg arrange and then figure p and after that we use gg arrange again and then figure iron and figure copper and the number of column is 2 and the label here is b and c and after that we use the number of row is 2 and the label uh, for the first one is a that is label for p now I run this code As you can see now, is the first row that we fought for us is label A, and the second row has two figures, iron and copper. If you want to use the same legend for all three figures, you can use the common dot legend equal to as we already seen above. That's what I want to show you today. I hope the video is useful for you. Thank you for the watching.